guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 8 of Bleach, A Thousand Year Blood Wars. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. We had to come back to this. <laughs> and I get it, but like, oh. Gotta be around here somewhere. Oh my fucking god. And besides, she should have turned back to Marlo once he was done. Oh. Wouldn't try that.
to do that. Uh-oh. Oh, he is a captain. But you know he ain't dead. <laughs> He's gotten up like several fucking times. Yeah, I mean, you can't go in guns blazing as well. Hmm? A damn this oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. See, babe, don't say that because then that could be your last words. We, <laughs> we don't need anything happening to anybody else.
very scary. <laughs> And you think four will? Girl. Well, where else were they supposed to go? Might as well. I mean, that's the only thing you have left. That day. You're literally giving them the cutest magical contribution at the time like this. But still, that's not good out, The fact that she also thinks adding more power is going to do something to him, babe, babe. <laughs>
Oh, shit. Oh, well, not the arm. But at least it was the arm, though. I'll take that. <laughs> I mean, you know, damn, a thank you would be nice. <laughs> Busby? Shit. <laughs> Uh oh, fucking <laughs> Oh, God. Are you really going through with this? Which is exactly what he needs to get up there. I thought we weren't gonna see this shit yet. Oh, I thought this is gonna be the last two episodes. Oh, fuck.
Do not end on a cliffhanger this week. Do not end on a fucking cliffhanger. Think he doesn't fucking hesitate. That's the cliffhanger. <laughs> That's the fucking cliffhanger! Oh my god! Okay. I'm gonna say one thing, and I, I think this is really interesting. To have Orihime and, and Chad in this, like, for, for now, because remember, like, Okay, uh, I don't know what chapter it is, because, okay, now knowing where we are, especially, because majority, I don't think majority of this happened, um, I can't say what chapter we're on, because I don't really fucking remember, but I know we're on, like, we're, we're getting to the one part, and, I, and like, I assumed that that was gonna happen in the last two episodes at the end of the month, next month, but, oh no, they're, <laughs> they're screwing with me, and they're like, no, this is happening, like, in the beginning of the next couple of weeks. Seeing Chan and Orihime here a lot earlier, it is really different, but I'm not mad at it. I do like the fact that they're here now, because the biggest thing is, and I think, at the time when a lot of us were reading it and every single week I think people went, I, I didn't really say anything about it on Twitter at the time those years ago, but I, I did see a lot of people voicing ish. Oh, and you're not going to give anything? Oh, shut the fuck up. Okay, fuck it. I'm just going to continue. Um, I, I remember a lot of people very much being like, where the fuck is Orihime and Chad during all of this and such? Because remember, the last time we all saw that, like those two, they were in Waco Mundo training and such. Um, of course, I feel like they're going to save that joke of Orihime's outfit for next week's episode and such because <laughs> that's instantly what I thought about when I saw it. I was like, oh, okay, so we're probably getting that joke next week. Um... But I do like the fact that they're here a lot earlier because, yeah, I, I from what I even said in uh, Solanish, like, yeah, a lot of people are like, they should have been here at this point, but we understand why Kubo um, did this. So, of course, I love the fact that, you know, once again, Kubo is just like, okay, let's just go ahead and have it. So, because these four have been initially together since the get-go of, you know, coming to save Rukia. So, let's just tie in all of that with, you know, also, with you also leaving them and such. Um, but yeah, their little fight against Ichigo. <laughs> 
did everybody think that Ichigo was going to go the fuck down? Like, come on now, no. I mean, yes, I get it. Everybody wants to get a piece of that Ichigo pie and take that and fuck her down and such so that they can get the credit, but all y'all against him. Y'all knew that was not happening. You knew that boy was not going to go down without a motherfucking fight and such. This is the same thing with Kenny because Kenny and such. Now, the, okay, the Yachiru situation, um, as I said in, in the beginning, like, she, shouldn't she be okay because of dude? Yeah, he's technically, he, he's not really dead, but, I mean, he's still alive, so really probably, pretty much everything that he imagined Especially with Yachiru turning into her, well, her arms slowly but surely turning into cookies and stuff. She should have been normal. So, where the fuck is she? Because, like, right now I'm fucking blanking. I, I, <laughs> I, I have no idea where the fuck she is. I just hope she's okay because, of course, because Kenny really cares for her so freaking much. Like, regardless, he is like, hey, high freaking alert, where the heck is this girl at? Like, that is my everything towards her. And the fact is that, you know, he has to do another battle still while worrying about where the heck she is. This is, like, mm -hmm. chaos. Motherfucking chaos. But, oh, God. No. Huh. I can't. Shit. I just, hmm. So then, okay. If we're... If, mm, if we're doing that in the next two fucking episodes, where the fuck are they ending with 25 and 26 at the end of the month next month? I don't know. I don't know. I, and hell, I even thought, like, in the episode, especially with, you know, Udiu showing up, and Ichigo being like, what the fuck are you doing over there and such? I'm thinking, oh my god, just like in the opening, we are going to see these two duke it out, which is something like... I've truly wanted since the jump, but no, <laughs> no, <laughs> once again, I'm not mad at the cliffhanger, but still, <laughs> god damn it, <laughs> like, I need it to be next Saturday, but at the same time, please don't let next Saturday come, because I ain't coming home until, like, five o'clock, but other than that, guys, that is our reaction to be towards episode eight of Bleach the Thousand Year Blood War, if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out, also, subscribe to my channel, I make videos, if you want to join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially on next Saturday, for episode nine, like I said, I am not coming home until about sometime after four o'clock because I have to work next week is my hell week due to work. But hopefully I can get it out ASAP. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.